Now for the software part of our review, we're going to burn the Jetson Nano default system image and going to go through some samples and examples there. Um, so this is developer NVIDIA webpage and here's a quick introduction which you can read. Um, let's go straight to write image to micro SD card. You'll need to click here, download the image. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to do it again. It's 5.3 gigabytes um, and the download speed was okay. Uh, I'm located in China, so sometimes it can be a problem. Now, next step, if you follow the instruction for Windows, they want you to download the Etcher, Balena, Balena Etcher. I already have it installed, so it's right here. You can just Google Balena Etcher and I have the link uh, in my article. You will want to select image. This is the one. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is the one. So as you see, you need uh, at least 16 gigabytes SD card. And by the way, for those who want to try the JetBot image, keep in mind that this one requires 64 gigabytes. And actually, it means that 64 plus. So you will need 128 gigabyte card for that. It's something to keep in mind. But we're going to go with our regular image um, without JetBot modification. So 16 gigabyte cards minimum. Select Drive and then press Flash. I already have my card ready, so I'm not going to do it again. After it finishes flashing process, uh, it also gonna, it's also going to validate your SD card and check for errors. Uh, validation process is optional, so you can skip that step. But it's always good to make sure that uh, there is no errors on the SD card. Alright, and well, after that you just eject the SD card, like that. And you're good to go. You need to insert it into your Jetson Nano and then start the first boot. Well, let's run some demos, shall we? First of all, let's go to other locations, user, local, and then let's and then let's copy uh, the. Uh, samples folder to our home directory this way we don't need to sudo every script that we are we, we need to execute remember to add ra because you're copying a, a folder all right and let's try one of the simulations uh the one with particles for example um, when you run make command on your computer, it will spend some time compiling uh, the C++ files. On my computer, I already have them compiled. But you need to run this make command first. A whole pew of balls. And then if we press H, we can experiment with some parameters. Like for example, it's interesting to play with the gravity. Um, as you can see, the frame rate, frames per second, is quite impressive there. It's about 70 right now, and I decreased the gravity, so now the balls are just floating. I'm going to try full screen. So this is just one of the CUDA demos. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try smoke particles. All right, then run the same make command in the folder small particles and it's gonna be quite some time when it's compiling so I'm gonna just fast forward it all right so now that was some time traveling magic it finished compiling it actually took about five minutes or something and then let's run it so this is similar this is just a CUDA demo and Again, you can look around and then if you press H, you can play with the parameters, which also looks quite fun. Again, I played with the gravity, uh, which made the smoke come down or go up very fast if there is almost zero gravity.
All right, so now we'll try some object tracking and feature detection demos. For that one, we'll need to copy a folder from user share vision works. We'll copy uh, the folder sources from there to our home folder and then run the same make command. Uh, you just saw some, you actually seen some time traveling here. This is fast forwarding. So compilation here after the common make also takes some time, but now it is done. And let's run the compiled executables. This is the first one. This is the object tracker, which runs on the video and you can choose the object and it will follow it. It just got lost to object and I need to choose another one. And then I'm going to try choosing the top of the bridge. Yeah, as you can see, just the green box is on the object, so it tracks it. Now try the car. The next one is going to be, this is um, find using hue transform demo. Uh, it performs edge detection and find the lines. So those blue ones are the lines in the image. And we're going to run a feature tracker, feature detector. So currently I'm making a video about how to build a quadruped robot, a spider, with a jetbot image. So stay tuned for updates. I will probably publish it next week. Till the next time.